think that it's quite a sad place to live is that you have to incentivize a past patient with a six dollar gift card from somewhere like subway in order to grow and build a business and get patients i find it um i find it quite crazy to think that people who do that think that that's the way that people and human beings are motivated in our environment So the question was, can you incentivize referrals from past patients by giving them a gift or something of monetary value? It's a good question and my answer to that is no. I don't like to do that, I don't think that it's needed and I think that it's quite a sad place to live is that you have to incentivize a past patient with a $6 gift card from somewhere like Subway in order to grow and build a business and get patients. I find it, um, I find it quite crazy to think that people who do that Think that that's the way that people and human beings are motivated in our environment now in our environment bearing in mind that if we do a good job for somebody we can change people's lives so i like to live in a world that i provide such good value and such a great service to my patients that they will want to tell people about me and what we do in order to help their friends and family without a six dollar gift card from subway or starbucks if you think that people are going to be motivated to refer to you as a result of a Starbucks card for what we do, or if you think that it's gonna add an extra motivation to do so, I think there's something seriously wrong with your service um, because it's better to live in a world where you just over deliver and you provide such amazing value and you give people such an amazing experience and you help them and you will just go way, way, way beyond what they were expecting. People talk about things like that because not many people can pull it off. So don't be like what everybody else is and don't do what everybody else does and think that you have to come up with clever ways and reward them with chocolates or flowers or anything like that you don't need to do that because first of all it turns people into thinking that um for every referral you're always going to do that and that's not a good place to be and secondly it conditions them and it becomes a if you do this for me i'll do that for you the best world to live in is just we're going to knock the socks off this for you we're going to give you such an amazing experience that you will want to rush out of these doors and tell every one of your friends and family all about us because you know that we can add such great value to their life and that is wholly possible the second thing that i will say on it is that it we do reward but we reward retrospectively so we don't advertise the fact that we're going to give somebody um, anything what we will do is we will wait for them to do it based upon the service that we've provided then we will retrospectively show up with give me a book something like this we might send them a book or we might send them a massage voucher and we do that um, because we want to show up after they've done what they've done for us anyway so we're not saying hey we'll give this to you if you do that for us it's hey we're going to absolutely blow this away for you we're going to give you such an amazing time you'll want to send your friends and family to us and then what we'll do we'll do something that you weren't expecting which is show up with an amazing gift or something nice some kind of gesture which will be a book or a massage voucher which cements and solidifies the relationship and is more of a shock and awe um, and a wow factor experience for the patient because they weren't expecting it now when we do that do we get more referrals as a result one million percent yes but it's doing it retrospectively it's not advertising it advertising it it's not saying we'll do this for you if you do this for us it's we're going to do this anyway we're going to give you such an amazing experience you will want to tell friends and family about this because they're in need and we have the solutions and when you do that we're going to do something that you weren't expecting which was show up with a nice little gift just to say thank you we're not expecting anything back it's just a genuine gratitude grateful we're humble we're being nice we're being polite and we're just doing something to say thank you you've contributed to our lives in letting us help other people we'd like to just give something simple to your life be it a book or be it a massage voucher that you can come and enjoy our practice so my answer is i would never even contemplate lowering myself to um, offering some kind of crappy subway voucher or a starbucks voucher to have a cup of coffee in exchange for a referral i think it's it's just so dated it's something like from 1980s like we don't need to do that anymore just blow your customers away with amazing service give great value they will tell people about you in their floods and then if you show up 
after the referral track it like we do in the business every time we get a referral from a patient we track it and at the end of the month we show up with a lovely thank you card a nice gift and um, potentially a massage voucher for them to enjoy which is just what any decent business should do just to say thank you you've sent me a thousand dollars worth of work for which I'm very very grateful So the difference would be most businesses, they will set up a referral strategy or a referral system in a business that will reward or incentivize a patient to send business to them, which is fine, okay? But to me, it's transactional. I'd rather build a business, give an amazing experience, give an amazing service that is so good that these people will want to tell people about me. Because I know if it's so good and I do such a great job and I give them such an amazing personable experience, they will want to tell their friends about me regardless of whether I'm going to give them something. Regardless, regardless of whether or not there's a reward scheme or a bonus scheme or a buy one get one free type scheme if you tell friends or family or whatever. I don't need to do that. But what happens is when they do refer a patient to me, I surprise and delight with a gift. I sign a copy of my book send it to them lovely little thank you card thanks for the great work you're doing for me i really appreciate it you know you're helping us to, to build a business of our dreams and help us to serve more people and here's a free massage voucher for you or your wife or your husband or your partner or whatever to come and enjoy my practice so massive difference in mindset shift from here, here is a if you do this for me i'll do that for you to i'm just going to do this for you anyway and it's just going to be so good that you will just love it and you will want to tell people about my service and my practice and because you did that, I'd like to give you a thank you, which is not pre, you know, I, I didn't tell you I was going to do it. I'm just going to do it anyway because I'm just grateful. You're helping me build a business. You're helping me serve more people. You're helping us, you know, live our dreams, love our jobs, do the stuff that we want to do. And I just think that that's a, a really amazing well to be in. And it's a mindset shift in the owner that moves away from transactional and tit for tat to I'm just going to blow your socks off. You're going to have such a cool time. You're going to tell everybody all about me all over social media and all your friends. And when that friend calls, we will take their name. We have it set up that it um, talks to the you know to the EMR that tells us that Steve referred John at the end of the month. We see all the referrers. We have 25 of them on a spreadsheet. 25 of those people. One of the, the staff sits down once a month on a morning and puts together all of the envelopes and we send them out a lovely book and a nice gift wrapped you know has a it has a bow on it, like a gold bow in like um in this really cool um postage like envelope thing that goes out with our sticker on in gold and just says thank you thanks like we, we need you you know thanks for supporting our cause and you know we're going to do our best to take care of everybody you sent to us in the future you know there you go makes sense it's awesome yeah, Mass exactly. Massive, massive difference in mindset. That's what separates okay businesses that do all right to like absolutely phenomenal businesses that are like a rock in it, where the yeah. owner, where the owner can go and live in South Carolina for like eight weeks at a time. Even right, this is how debt that goes on. How much debt? When you look into a patient's eyes, right, and you offer a, part, a prime plan and they smile and go, that sounds like it's great. Something goes on in your brain at a level you have got no control over that says, this is working. Patients are happy. So I'm going to do it again in the next one. So I don't need to put that extra, like, two seconds of energy into, are you sure you don't need the prime? Or let me just explain the, the, the organic. Is it the right one that you need? That's what goes on fact in the same way that with a script like people do it for three days and it works fine and then all of a sudden seven days later it's like the question that should have been asked fifth is asked second the one that's asked first is asked eighth because you're dragged out of your script and your routine but because the patient booked an appointment well that worked so it's back to again that that concept in here of if you're not paying attention and you're not ready and there's laughs and there's giggles and that phone rings all of a sudden it's like Shit, I've kind of done it, and I've done it a little way, but I wasn't ready for, for the call. And I wasn't ready to get my words in the right order, which produced a certain reaction, an emotional reaction, chemicals going through a body, which makes them feel a certain way, which makes them more likely to be an easy to, pay, to work with patient, that makes them more likely to work with an organic plan and take orthotics. All of this shit is going on. Just, it just is. Don't, don't use any energy fighting me. Whatever is going on at the beginning, in the way that you make them feel as a result of those questions at every level, 
is what determines whether they buy orthotics or not. It is not a logical decision for them to buy orthotics. It's not a logical decision for them to buy organic over prime. One out of two out of ten, yes. I'll, I'll always give you that because that's the, that's the numbers. But for eight out of ten people, they are controlled by chemicals in their body at the beginning of the relationship. That will determine how easy it is for you, 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 you to book an appointment. And I take that back that if you're getting patients who come in through that door, who I know if you track this, and we, we probably should for a week, if you get patients who need something and resist, I would take it all the way back to who answered the phone. And if we could listen to that call, I bet you it's off cue. Nothing to do with their side again, not a dot to do with their finances, nothing to do with anything other than at the beginning of the relationship, there was no warm fuzzy feeling when the phone went down. That framed them to want to buy whatever we recommended. them. That make sense? It's all at the chemical level. Because everything that you do and every decision that we're all making, myself included, is at that chemical level. So I said to him this morning, like, what were we talking about with kids? Something about the kid, um, like the love of kids. And I said, time kids he said he spent. He said I love spending time with my kids. I said you don't. You love the feeling that you get to spend time with your kids. Juicy Two fucking camera. wildly different things. When you understand this, it will change your fucking life. When you realise all of the stuff that's like, I love this or I love the other, you don't love it. You love the reaction that goes on in your body. You want that chemical in your body that you've associated with it. Fact. Hard, hard to accept, but that's what's going on. Kids just produce that chemical for you that makes you feel great, that you probably can't get elsewhere. So the love thing, that's fine. It's there somewhere and it means something and it's a lot of, you know, whatever. But what you're, you're, like, what you're really addicted to is that chemical in your body. That's what it is. That's what you get when you look at your kids on the morning. It's like, how, what else is it? It's not this like magical thing that's just like, you know, like put over the top of you. It's a chemical that 2000 years ago meant something else, by the way. And in 2000 years will mean something else because that's what we're conditioned to think. That's how we make decisions. That's why we're so emotional. That's why we do what we do. Everything has a chemical reaction to it. One of four things makes you feel a certain way. Our goal in business is to take that chemical and get it in play at the beginning of a relationship fast the, and that by the way is why we're killing it because we do it we just don't do it consistently no you can't do it every time but we need to do it more than we're doing it right now every other business it's just a transaction and it's just a straightforward yes see tomorrow at 12 o'clock i didn't realize this two or three years ago now i completely get it like the more that i see these businesses how they feel how patients feel and i said it to you last week and this is what i've learned the biggest thing being in america for the last eight weeks most businesses, they don't get that, that feeling of, this is nice and I love this place, till session three or four. Here, it's happening more often than not on the call or when they sat on that couch. So then it just becomes, how can we consistently give them that feeling? And how can we increase, make it better, make it even more? You, you are literally, with those seven questions, putting a drug into their body, which makes them feel great. In the same way that every morning your kid wakes up, you feel great. Every time you see your kid kick a ball, you feel great. It's the same fucking chemical, nothing else. Just in a, in a higher, higher proportion. Simple. Incredible. Words in the wrong order means something else. Words asked in the right order. Make sense?